Okay, being on black coming at you here, 10 by 10, and basically you put a search in like this, and if it's that much around, uh, that would be a, when I say a, and don't take this any country, okay, but when I would say it would be a conspiracy, okay, because I get pissy when people, I hate the word conspiracy, okay, but this looks to be basically a 6.1 earthquake over in Australia, and it's right now, USGS is not showing us that and I'll hit refresh and I do not believe you're gonna see the 6.1 showing up in Australia now uh, there's reparable uh, and basically we still haven't seen a lot of footage or I haven't I haven't really went looking for it that much but remember that we know that this was a 7.9 down in Mexico and there was a report of hundreds of houses hurt damaged Okay, and then we go this, and this is refreshed, and we're not showing the 6.1 over there. And I got people going, can you confirm a 6.1 earthquake? And Bino's not the earthquake authority, you know, I mean, somewhat, but I mean, not reporting it because the idea that the seismographs need to report it. Now, I'm going to show you basically uh, what I sent a uh, authority of USGS. And I will tell you straight out that I do not like Facebook, but this does come up. When I went ahead and searched this, okay, let's go search some of the other pages. And here's my letter that I sent to, uh, and don't really care about names, dropping names, but the idea that that's name there is what is, you know, getting a paycheck, you would presume and assume, because the idea that that's the name that was at the site when I went to look for the seismic graphs to see what's going on. Because when you look at the graph data, you know exactly what's going on, okay? But I'm having a difficulty of getting that, and hopefully the link will get sent to me either by a, and then if it comes from, uh, you know, if it works and everything, and it comes from a, a viewer of my videos, then that's telling you something too, if I don't get it from anybody at the USGS, because they say to contact them there at that, you know, contact webmaster, and tell let us know that that's not working, okay? They say they're having downtime capacity problems. Yeah, because everybody's wanting to know what the hell's going on. And it might be cover-up. Because we are not seeing that 6.1, which we were going to go we're going to go ahead and do a web search. Okay, let's go look. Okay, now we don't really care about what I'm using for a web search. And it's not even my most favorite. Uh, but at right now we have this. So we're going over here and we have... That's where they're saying location and stuff was. And let's go to USGS, okay, so here it is. And you're not, I'll even hit refresh, I'll hit now. And like I say, we're gonna go to, I'll go ahead and go to RSOE, okay, and there we go, a 5.6, okay. Now, as you know, you can go to the video and go back through here. And how quick Bino can get something at the government level or at USGS to go ahead and start spitting the truth. So all you got to do is roll my video back here, and you know that a few minutes ago didn't show anything there. So I guess it was a delayed feed a little bit. It's a long ways through the ocean, and maybe a line got cut off or something because the idea that we are, the ring of fire has those phone lines. But, hey, it's modern day, and we have satellites, and we know that that goes ba bing ba dang instant. So something's going on, and there's 5.6 there. And basically, you can watch the clock and everything. And I did this video and everything. You'll see right up here to the left and right down here to the right. Watch the clocks and watch the liars, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm not lying to you. Okay? You seen it a little bit ago? Refreshed it? It wasn't there. And now we got a 5.6, and it's not a 6.1. Okay? So let's go to USGS. A little bit of a delay. I can understand, you know, with an earthquake possibly. But now we are not showing anything. We have a 5.6 that was in South Australia. So basically, it sounds like to me that basically if we go ahead and go to the Internet, so we're seeing this, and then we are seeing this, and then we can go ahead and I will we'll go ahead and hit nothing, something else. This one looks like the same story. Biggest, biggest, uh, was that the one I clicked? I don't think it was. Let's go ahead and go to this one. The might, yeah, that was the one I clicked. Sorry, like I say, I don't edit, I just sort I mean, I do sometimes a little bit when I make a big mistake, but there we go. Fourwinds.com. and then they're saying what they say.
This one is staying neutral, it looks like, about saying what the magnitude is. And it goes down to that, the Dead Sea. Dead Sea's in America. Australia, there we go, 6.1. I know where the Dead Sea's at, been there. Tank training. Anyway, so now, here we go. Clean your gun. Big swabber. So now, anyway, Australia, magnitude 6.1 earthquake. So basically, folks, here's the factual, straight-up facts. That's hitting everybody right in the facts joint, okay? The factoid joint, the actual truth. And I'm just uh, trying to go down here real fast to get that blown up for you, and it just went all over the place. But let me go ahead, hang on, and we get back down here, San Salvador, boom, I got to go back out for a second, see how they play, and we're going to go back to, I don't care, well, it's not what our point right now, and we want to go back to seeing this right here, and we'll blow that up, and it should not move the screen at all when we blow it up, it should be right there. And we're going to show you what you've seen in smaller print and to make it a little bit more emphasized for you. We will blow it up to, I think it was a 6.5 back in 97. Okay, and then there's your facts. Magnitude 6.1 quake, but when you let the USGS get a hold of something, they knock it down to a 5.6. So the truth bleeds, okay? That's what's factually going on, and Beano Black is the same flipping prick that went big ass prick. Big gosh damn G dot O dot D dot prick that exposed the idea that they took the volume box off of the box that they're supposed to clean out every time when they check your RADs and CPM counts per minute, okay? That's radiation, ladies and gentlemen. This is earthquakes. Now what the flip is going on? Because this is the truth, okay? This is the flipping, bleeding ass truth, okay? So what the flip is really flipping, okay? Flippers. So just realize, folks, that U.S. something believes that you can't handle the truth, okay? I know every, well, I know everybody I've ever hung around can handle the truth every flipping day, okay? And not lies. Lies is what they can't handle in this country. Okay? And we're getting sick of it. So more than likely, basically, I'm going to make a good shepherd, kind of like non-profit, and that's pretty much what we are. And we're just going to tell you the truth. We're going to show you the data. And you're going to see that basically when we get up to the top, okay, because we got interference from CMEs and cross-phasing here, as you see on the graph in the chart right there. You can't miss it. The data will tell you because basically no matter what, if they have a hard time getting the data, if it breaks up, then the idea there's a CME action, okay? So we're not as calm as the calm makes calm look, okay? Especially since we have this break up here. And remember I showed you in another video that basically, hey, it's breaking up. So a factual truth now bleeds that the idea that, yep, there must have been a CME or something because you get the truth from Bino here on the idea that we've got major discrepancies on data. I mean, it's not discrepancies, it's just holes. Okay, and then that means a CME, more than likely. Now, the other stuff, that some of the stuff that I've showed you, you can differentiate, and then you can see the scar action. So you got roll again. We're more than likely, we'll look at a satellite shot of, it, it is layers, you got to remember layers, 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 layers. But the layers pretty much show a lot of truth here because we've got something running around on the sun. Okay? Yeah, that, or there's electrical magnification tracks on the sun if there's not some smaller objects than the sun or maybe even larger it doesn't matter but there's layers and layers and layers and we are seeing road marks again okay you're seeing marble marks roll marks either that or it's electrical because we know it's electrical because i just showed you the phases that we're crossing and we only got remnants remnants around and you can see that bleeding through the picture there on that shot okay i don't even need to blow that up for you and we'll see what kind of CME action we got coming. Okay, Soho got another big CME, the satellite did. Should be able to see that. Okay, because Soho is a little red one and Earth is over here. 
And whenever we get that colorization, we are getting CME action. And you've seen that CME action in my last video before this one. Go to look at that one, Hawaii, the telescope, showing you the aurora. And there's your roll or electrical, no matter what. And you see that triangulation of scarring, okay? Uh, farther away or electrical, we are going to find out. And that's what NASA probably wants to know also, okay? And it's noisy up there, and it's not just, and there's your ass end hanging out a little bit, and now our north pole is going a little bit off, okay, because we've been pretty nice and steady a little while, for a little while. Here's some pictures. So you see there's a CME action, so it's not all exactly what, okay, and as you see, we have way more than just the sun there. That's, that picture shows you a lot of truth right there. I'm going to yeah, they don't like that fast scatter control there, and basically that shows you that there's more than just the sun, and we've got the super giants, folks, because you can see that there, okay? You can see the layers, and you can see a flare, 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 and you can also see a flare on the one layer, and then you can see what's underneath. Super giants, ladies and gentlemen, there's way more than one sun up there, way more than one sun up there. We'll get rid of that there. We don't want to talk to them for a while. So you see what's going on, and there you go, active, quiet. Geometric frail, solar x-rays, active, okay? So our field right now is quiet. Now they're putting two on here, which is cool. But the idea, okay, then they're letting us know. They're, that's smart because now they're telling you that the idea that we're letting you know that when the flares, when they come, in which basically you see when you see the automa automation data, okay, of this, you see the CME action coming. Okay, and we'll go to that real fast, and then we'll come back and blow that other picture up. And we'll go down here, and you can go to this here and watch your dates and times. This is Solar Artist. You can go to them and, and get the governmental facts, data, truth a lot faster. Okay? So there's Earth right there. And that's all CME action that's coming around by us. We get it statically, okay, through space. When we got blue, it's nice and safe and quiet. Your electrical and your radio signal should be fine. And it's quite smooth, but then when you get that colorization and those CMEs from the sun, which are basically, let me go ahead and show you. And this is a picture you want to show a lot of people. I got it highlighted there so you can see it. And then I also will do that, see if you can see it there. And then if you can't see it, maybe this highlights it and uh, see if you can read it good. Okay. And this is your shot. And the 100% factuality, the 1,000% factuality, is that's your date and time of the picture, and I'll even blow it down to like 400 or something, I mean to 100% or something, and you will see the layers, and you will see there you got your super giant action to the right on that layer, and you also have, and then the idea that we do know that the, there is one of the masses there on the right-hand side there of this shot that's basically going to be blocked out, and that might be what they did with this and the idea that the supergiants and the other suns in the supergiants and stuff like that are probably maybe going to help the little baby sun, which is smaller than some other supergiant suns, out and keep it away, keep the meatball away. And as you see, we even have a piece right there. There is a piece that is huge because that's bigger than Earth right there, ladies and gentlemen. That might even actually be bigger than Jupiter, Saturn, or anything like that. And then again, it could be Jupiter, Saturn, or anything. Mercury, Venus... Mars, don't really know, but uh, no matter what, this shows you the layers and shows you the supergiants exist, and let's plop this down, as you will see that that object is there, okay, and all these other objects are there too, and we go to 100%, and there's your shot, okay, and this is from SOHO, NASA com, NASA com dot NASA government slash data real time, little c2 slash 1024 slash latest JPJ. JPG from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and Soho and Fireball and all, or yes, everything, all NASA, all government, all, love it, love it, beautiful shots of the sun, layers, layers, layers of truth. Because no matter what, folks, this is the sun supposed to be right here. And yes, we know that there's tons of stuff that glow that come off it, but the supergiants exist, okay, and the sun is up there with the supergiants. A hundred of them, four to 78 times the size of the sun. There's 200 of them up there, a hundred of them are bright or as bright as the sun or brighter. The other hundred are less bright, but are hot little buggers. And dying out, some of them, yes. And there's also lots of massive objects up there. So I'll finish this out for the day for looking at your jet stream, and that's important for CPM and RADS. That's a factual thing, and there you go with what's going on in our jet streams. East Coast, uh, I haven't checked the temperatures too much. I think the temperatures, uh, let me just show you temperatures again. There's some more jet stream, and then we're just going to go ahead and put...
Heat and Time, right-hand corner, right down here, and very warm all over the nation.